what are vibrations? Vibrations are a mechanical phenomenon where oscillations occur at the equilibrium point. Normally, they are the periodic back and forth motion that is generated when we displace from the equilibrium condition an object. Generally, vibrations are undesirable because they produce waste of energy and unwanted sound. Like, for example, the engines in operation. We try to minimize these undesirable vibrations by the designs that we create. These designs can minimize the unwanted vibrations that we have in our constructions. Phenomen of resonance. This phenomenon is a clear example of vibration. What we do in this experiment basically is we tap against the glass and this glass will produce a loud ring. If we put our finger in the opposite side of what we are tapping, we eliminate the damping in the ring. In the following video, you will see a clear example where vibrations are produced and the glass eventually breaks into pieces. In this video, we can see in slow motion how the phenomenon of resonance is being applied. As we can see here, the ring of this glass is being oscillating 337 times. That was the frequency that was receiving. Also here, you can see how the sound waves affect the oscillation. As you can see, when the sound wave impacts against the glass, it deforms the ring. Finally, the frequency is being intensified until the point that the glass breaks down. Since of November of 1940, Tacoma's Bridge suffered from the phenomenon of resonance. This was caused because the engineers of that uh, time didn't have into account that the wind could enter in harmony with the bridge. This could produce that the bridge eventually, as you can see in this video, produced that the bridge oscillated, producing finally the breakdown of the bridge. Okay, so now I'm going to tell you about the types of vibrations in airplanes. There are three types. Buffet, noise vibration, and flutter. I'll start off with buffet. Buffet is a random vibration caused by air turbulences. These vibrations can also appear when using flaps, speed brakes, or any other movable surfaces. For you to understand clearly, I'm going to show you a video. While in flight, there are two solutions to deal with buffet. Firstly, the pulse test, which consists on changing the airflow around the wings in order to measure vibration frequencies. And secondly, the sweep test, where vibrations and frequencies are monitored with a computer. Generator of vibrations. Flutter. Flutter is the most dangerous vibration on airplanes because it can cause the structures to fail. It happens when the airflow is larger, is larger than the energy from damping the reduction, vibrations, amplitude. This high energy can cause the failure of wings, an unstable condition in which unsteady aerodynamics excite the natural frequencies of the structure over which the air flows. This video is an example of flutter. Finally, noise vibration. Noise is a vibration that excites the air, produced by a rapid back and forth motion. If the vibration is random, the noise is unmusical or confused. When the vibration is harmonic, the noise is the result of a tone like that produced by a musical instrument. It may sound like the whistling of a drain 
or a slight leak in a door. To all of this, there is a great engineering responsibility. Its design is of great importance when it comes to vibrations and the correct functioning of the airplane. Okay, so now what causes vibrations in airplanes? Firstly, the deployment of airplane flaps, which are considered harmless in flight. Secondly, engines resonance. The operation of engine at several levels cause constant vibrations due to its resonance. Also, airflow over the surfaces can cause low amplitude vibrations, which are hardly noticeable during flight. When these are turbulences, the amplitude of these vibrations increase very significantly, and this is when passengers can actually feel it. In addition, when landing and during takeoff with the extension and retraction of landing gear. This can be seen in the following video. Finally, any kind of mal malfunctions can cause vibrations on airplanes. To put the concepts previously seen in practice, I'm going to explain an exercise of vibrations of an airplane. Here we have an overview of the airplane that we are going to calculate after that. In this exercise, we are considering the airplane as a particle. This, ex this exercise is about free response of a mass spin system. In part A, I have to calculate the equivalent K of each well set, front and rear. And after that, we calculate the equivalent K of all the airplane. Each well set can be treated as a two springs in series. And to calculate the equivalent K, we use this equation, where Kf is the equivalent K of the front well set, Ktf is the spring stiffness of front set of tires, and Ksf is the spring stiffness of front suspension system. We, we use the same equation for the, the rear uh, well set, and to calculate the total K of all the system we use, we just add a uh, front K and rear K. In part B, I show the mass spring system diagram in which we can see that the elongation of the front and rear wheel sets are equal and also they are equal to the total elongation of the center of gravity. In part C, I'm going to display the FBD of the mass spring system where we can see the vertical force pointing upwards of Kx and the weight pointing downwards. In part D, I have computed the agent frequency of the system above, where we use this equation, where omega n is the agent frequency, k is the total k that we have calculated in the first part of the exercise, and M M is the mass of the airplane, and the answer is in ra radians per second. In part E, we calculate the damp natural frequency with different damping ratios equal theta. To calculate it, we use this equation, where C is the natural damping, CO is the critical damping, and C over CO is theta, our damping ratio. Uh, where omega n is the agent frequency calculated before and omega d is the damp natural frequency that we want to calculate. Uh, here we can see our three results depending of, of our three damping ratios. Now I have plotted the three damp natural frequency depending of the three ratios and we can reali we realize that the Elongation never reached zero, so it tends to infinity. On this second exercise, there we are going to talk about an harmonic force response of a mass spring system. 
They first asked us about to compute the angular frequency, which we saw uh, doing the velocity of taxing, because the problem is during the taxing, over the radius, which in this case, because of the damp movement, the radius, the diameter of the wheel will be the same as the wavelength of the waveform that damp movement draws. Then the, the angular frequency will be the velocity of the taxing, which was 5 meters per second, over the diameter over 2, because we just want the radius, so 4 meters over 2 giving us a result of 2.5 radio radians per second. Then they also ask us about to derive an expression for the excitation of the rear wheel set X3 by using the expression of the wheel set, the front wheel set X2 that they give us the, uh, in the problem. So uh, after doing many operations and taking into account that the aircraft is a perfect rigid body with the velocity constant, so the angular frequency of in the rear wheels wheels will be the same as in the front wheels and also the displacement well the amplitude of the front wheels and the amplitude of the rear wheels then they also give us different spring stiffness of both set of tires and suspension systems so we will need to use them in order to use them, use them we take the frequency equals to the um, to the stiffness uh, spring stiffness constant times the the displacement and with it, we and also taking into account the frequency, the force is equal to the mass times the acceleration. We get we get several equations that ends up with the equation that is squared in green of x2, uh, depending on t. And from this, we we doing the same operations but with x3 and taking into account that it is a perfect rigid body with the velocity constants. We just have to change the, um, the spring stiffness constants that are different for the rear, rear wheels than from the front wheels and we get the result that is also squared in green color. Then in the second part of the exercise they ask us about to compute the exterior state response of the aircraft X1 as the sum of the excitation S2 and X3 that we already solved in the last part. For the time when it is bigger than zero and small than Tn, which is the problem already give us at as five seconds, and take in the, uh, the damping radius 0 0.0, 0 0.1, and 0 0.2. As it is shown, there are many equations uh, taking into account both the viscous damping of wheel set and the excitation of both wheel set in order to bring up the equation that it is squared in green. Uh, then there it, as it is also shown the equation of the graph, sorry, of the equation on squared in green. So we can see that it is a down movement, that it becomes state that it will reach the rest in, at some point of t. Then in the third part of the, of the problem, they ask us to solve to get the velocity as a function of the amplitude ratio, which is the amplitude of the aircraft over the amplitude of the front wheels. We, for the radio stamping radio 0 0.0, 0 0.1, and 0 0.2. Also, they ask us to mark the critical velocity as, as well as at which resonance occurs the damp, damp case uh, 0, 0.0, the damping radio. Then uh, we have the we developed the equation of velocity as the derivative of the uh, displacement. So we put the displacement x1 over x2 as they ask us to have the amplitude radio as, as the, the uh, independent variable. So we take into account again that the fre angular frequency is equal for x1 and x2 due to the fact that the airplane is a rigid body uh, big enough and with velo a constant velocity. And taking into account the the angular the, ang the angle that defines the the steady state response of the X1, as it is shown in the gray color on the right. So then doing the derivation, we get uh, an equation, but we just already marked that it is the derivative because the result will be very big. But we see the equation marking green and the the graph already plot. With the, velocity, with the critical velocity and the undamped case and the resonance for the undamped case 0.0. .0.